at 9.30, the family of a puppy that died on a United Airlines flight joined animal rights advocates and lawmakers for a demonstration at LaGuardia Airport this afternoon. They are demanding changes in the law to better protect pets on airplanes. TV 1055's Dave Carlin has the story. We want justice for Coquito. At LaGuardia Airport, about two dozen people, some holding their dogs, huddled in Terminal A's parking lot to protest the in-flight deaths of animals. New York State Senator Marisol Alcantara unveiled a pet passenger bill of rights she'll introduce in the state Senate, named Coquito's Law. It's like losing a family member. Coquito is the 10-month-old French bulldog ordered by a flight attendant to be placed in overhead storage for the entirety of a United Airlines flight from Houston to New York. The dog died. Grieving family members include 11-year-old Sofia Sabalos. He's special and I just think about him every day at school and I can't concentrate. My heart is broken for this young girl. Alcantara's legislation bans putting pets in the overhead bins, requires pets have access to food and water, and mandates animal welfare training for employees. Animal rights advocates said they support this pet protection push in New York State, hoping for the same laws nationwide. Animals are not things. They are not objects. They are living, breathing, sentient beings that are capable of suffering. United never released the name of the flight attendant in Coquito's case. The family wants an apology from that employee. She has not come forward. Evan Ocean is the family's attorney. We want accountability and we want justice. The flight attendant said she didn't know there was a dog in the carrier. United issued an apology saying pets should never be placed in overhead bins. In the same week as Coquito's death, United Airlines had two more mishaps involving dogs. On Tuesday, a canine was accidentally sent to Japan instead of Kansas City. Then on Thursday, a dog was put on a plane by mistake, and that flight had to be diverted. In those other cases, the two dogs survived. At LaGuardia Airport, Dave Carlin, TV 1055.